Hello everyone, welcome to Friday Sky Racing News and the weather trail is certainly continuing to hang over Rose Hill at the moment, counting down to San Domenico Day. The track is a heavy eight. They've received 27 mil of rain overnight and this morning. The Weather Bureau is still confident we're going to get another 10 to 15 today. So we'll monitor that. Horses like Fasica, uh, Girl Tuesday and Exceedance are three that certainly are in the mix not to run. The San Domenico Bivol Wack is now the dollar fifty favourite. Dubious, as we've told you through the week, is now officially scratched to run in Melbourne. And while the Hawks Racing Team uh, will decide tomorrow morning on exceedance, they're very much looking forward to seeing Desert Lord resume uh, tomorrow in a very competitive benchmark eighty-eight race. Now, Desert Lord had this barrier trial. It's out wide in those greenish colours. Finishes off really stylishly here. Uh, it's won its three runs on soft ground. So Michael Hawks telling us today they're not at all concerned at this stage about resuming the horse on a heavy track but it was a really nice trial out wide it's the uh, favorite to win the race desert lord over for seeker we'll wait and see whether joe pride runs and mr songman there at seven dollars well, visiting New Zealand trainer Sean Ritchie has come over with a horse called The Good Fight to line up tomorrow, a five-year-old. It really was quite impressive in its previous preparation. It came from a maiden win to run in a cup class race in New Zealand. Here it is uh, finishing off really strongly for a, uh, well, it, it got separated from the field, but did it hit the line here to win by a small margin? Over an unsuitable 1,400 metres. Goes to 2,000 tomorrow. It likes rain-affected tracks, and the way that it has travelled over, Sean Ritchie is quite happy with it. Heart of Grace has been 34 into $4, and the good fight at the moment, $14 in that race tomorrow. Well, apprentice Chris Williams has just two rides tomorrow at Rose Hill, but they're both capable of handling heavy tracks. Helga goes around in race two. It's overcome some muscle soreness out of its previous run. And Black Magnum. Now, Black Magnum lines up in a really good quality race. Uh, this is it winning on uh, softer, heavy ground back in July. Uh, the last time it raced, it covered plenty of uh, ground. It dropped out. It had the trial. It did that successfully around Arcadia Queen in a recent trial at Rose Hill. But as I say, it loves it uh, when it gets to soft or heavy. God of Thunder is the favourite to win the race, but Black Magnum is right there at $7. So just the two rides, but a very competitive day it could be for Apprentice Chris Williams. The Kosciuszko, where well, the build-up is really underway now, and uh, horse Benelong Dancer, who ran third in the country championship earlier this year, uh, finishes off in a Wagga trial yesterday in the white cap for Blake McDougall. Uh, it really got pushed out over the concluding stages to win this trial. Now, uh, Donna Scott is just going to tick the horse over over the next week or two, wait for the draw to take place with the $5 tickets. Let's hope it gets a slot, and then they'll totally map out a plan. Victorum currently favourite uh, at $4. Starboy won a trial earlier in the week at 11 And Benelong Dancer right now is $26 in the Kosciuszko. Reminding you, the $5 tickets, they uh, end uh, on Sunday week at uh, close to midnight. So don't forget to form your syndicate or buy your $5 tickets before Sunday week for the Kosciuszko. All eyes are on Sydney's weather. Let's hope it's not too bad. We'll keep you right up to date across the weekend on social media.